Let's take a look at what this uh, means with Paikyo Sorti Saravanamuti. He heads the Centre for Policy Alternatives and joins us from the Sri Lankan capital, uh, Colombo. Welcome to DW. Um, the country has been in turmoil for months and now, as we see, it's turned deadly. I is this the government to, to find a way out of this crisis? Well, when you say, is this the government, at the present moment, the government comprises only the president. Since the prime minister resigned, all the ministries are also now without ministers. So what the president has to do is to either select a prime minister, get that person confirmed, and get a cabinet also confirmed by parliament, and then resign, or he resigns and let the speaker take over and parliament do what it is constitutionally provided to do. Right. So, so given that the strength of feeling against the, the, the president at the moment, is he likely to, to choose that first course? Well, he seems adamant that he must remain in office. But the dilemma that he faces is to find a prime minister who is willing to work with him and, you know, who will command the support of the House of Parliament. That's the key question. If he continues in office, the protests will continue because their original demand and the continuing demand is, is that he leaves office and that the Rajapaksa dynasty is not represented in government. So do you see him um, clinging on or will he uh, ultimately face the inevitable and is he just sort of looking for a, a place to, to, to run to? Well, I mean, it might be the latter insofar as the protests have to intensify. You have to sort of get the point very clear to him that the country is ungovernable as long as he is president or part of government. And so a general strike that has been called will have to succeed. The protesters will have to intensify their pressure and the opposition must hold firm in its decision that they will not deal with it. So even if we get past that enormous hurdle and the violence stops, the country is then still stuck facing dire economic problems, owing credit to something like 51 billion dollars, which uh, Colombo has so far said it cannot repay. So who do you turn to? I mean, is the IMF likely to, to assist you, given the, uh, the political turmoil that there is there? Well, I mean, talks have begun with the IMF, and the IMF says that it'll only deal with a government that is stable. They've started their technical investigations, and they're waiting for a government that is stable uh, to begin the discussions with it. Once we announce, I think, that we are beginning to talk to the IMF in terms of an agreement, we will then be eligible for what we call bridging funds, where other bilaterals and multilaterals can give us the funds to tide us over until we come to implementing an actual agreement. That's very clear. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, outlining that for us. Uh, Paikya Soti Saravanamuti from the Centre for Policy Alternatives. Thank you.